Imagine a battlefield so vast, so deadly, that it would go down in history as one of the bloodiest battles ever fought. This was the Battle of the Somme, a monumental conflict that took place between July 1st and November 18th, 1916, near the River Somme in northern France. The armies of the British and French, including troops from their empires, clashed with German forces in an epic struggle that involved more than three million men. Around one million of these brave souls were wounded or killed, underscoring the immense human cost of this pivotal battle. In the summer of 1915, the British and French began planning a coordinated attack with the goal of breaking the stalemate and pushing the Germans back. The French and British lines of trenches converged around the River Somme, marking the chosen site for the upcoming offensive. In December of that year, Sir Douglas Haig assumed command of British forces and issued a stark warning. Britain must be prepared for heavy losses if it was to emerge victorious. Consequently, a major recruitment campaign was launched, bolstering the British Army with about one million fresh recruits. In February 1916, the Germans launched an attack on Verdun. Rather than sending reinforcements to Verdun, the British opted to lead an assault at the Somme to gain ground and divert German troops, thereby alleviating pressure on the French. The bombardment began on June the 24th, 1916, with British and French artillery raining down a deluge of shells onto German trenches. Over 1.5 million shells were fired in just eight days. The objective was to obliterate the German front lines, enabling the attackers to traverse no man's land and penetrate German-held territory. However, the Germans were prepared. They had anticipated the attack, retreated from their front lines and sought shelter in concrete dugouts deep underground. At 7.30 a.m. on July 1st, 1916, the first wave of British soldiers, accompanied by several French divisions, went over the top. They had been assured no survivors remained in the German trenches and they could safely cross no man's land. However, German machine guns mowed down the advancing forces with ease. On the first day alone, the British suffered around 60,000 casualties, including 20,000 dead, a staggering toll that marked the highest number of casualties and deaths ever recorded in a single day by the British Army. Despite these devastating losses, Haig persisted in sending men over the top throughout the summer. His confidence in victory remained unshaken, driven by the need to alleviate pressure on French forces at Verdun. Some ground was gained and tactical adjustments led to attacks on other areas of the Somme, yet the major breakthrough that Haig had anticipated never materialized. As November dawned, the onset of winter brought the relentless attacks to a halt. The British and French forces, having gained a strip of land approximately 25 kilometers long and 6 kilometers wide, counted their losses, around 620,000 men. The Germans too suffered heavily with losses estimated at around 500,000 soldiers. In the aftermath of the battle, General Haig found himself at the center of a storm of criticism. Politicians, fellow soldiers and the press alike criticized Haig, dubbing him the Butcher of the Somme. The eight-day bombardment he had instigated, along with his decision to send men into battle for months on end, were seen as grave miscalculations. However, such criticism needs to be taken in context. At the time of the Battle of the Somme, military leaders had no experience of trench warfare on such a vast scale. Haig's own military background was rooted in the Boer War, a conflict that was characterized by entirely different tactics. Despite the heavy criticism, Haig defended his actions, arguing that the Battle of the Somme had achieved some of its main objectives. The city of Verdun had been saved and the German army had been seriously weakened, with hundreds of thousands of their troops killed in action. In conclusion, the Battle of the Somme, despite its devastating human cost, did have some strategic gains. Verdun was spared and the German army was left severely depleted. The legacy of the Somme, then, is one of both triumph and tragedy.